This is it. It's finally here, my 2020 MacBook Pro. Thank you for being here and just sharing in the excitement of me opening it up. You should see what I was working on prior to this. I mean, in fact, let me actually just show you right now. This is a gateway laptop computer that I've had for 12 years. It has to be plugged directly into the router so that I can get an internet connection. There's some wiring in the screen that disconnected, so depending on how you angle the screen, it'll turn off. So that just kind of gives you an idea of what I've been working with, so you can tell that I'm very excited for my MacBook Pro. Okay, back to this. It looks beautiful. I bought this one refurbished on apple.com and it looks perfect. It's brand new. I saved about $300 buying it refurbished and it has a one year warranty. Plus I got the Apple Care, which gives you an additional three years. And I purchased this case off of Amazon. It's a really pretty floral, of course. Stick around to the end because I'm also going to be sharing some tips on the computer networking part of it. It has a screen protector. This is the top cover and then it's got a key bat pad cover. Oh, this is so cute. It just lays right over it so you don't get crumbs or anything in the keys. And then I'll put the bottom cover on. And my daughter is dying to touch it, so I gotta let her just put her hands on it for a minute. Moving on, we're putting the top cover on it now, and I love this because it's like a matted turquoise mint tinted cover. I'll put the link in the descriptions below in case any of you want this cover. It just snaps into place pretty easy. Now the cover kit also came with a screen protector, so we'll go ahead and put that on now. For installing any screen protector, you just gotta make sure that you wipe down the screen really well so there's no dust or particles on it. Now I'm just lining it up so I have an idea of the placement of it. I always get nervous about this part because you can kind of mess it up royally or put it on seamlessly. Now you just take the back layer off and it actually has a tab that tells you peel this part off first and then just stick it up there on the screen. So far so good. Now I just need to smooth it out if I can find the little card. Okay, so just smooth out the little bubbles. It's easier to see the bubbles if you turn the screen off, but this is so new, I don't know how to turn the screen off yet. <laughs> and once you got all the bubbles smoothed out and it's pretty secure to the screen, then go ahead and peel off that top layer. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. Okay, so now that I've had my MacBook Pro for, you know, less than 24 hours, I'm actually going to show you some quick tips that I did to customize it because I was using a Windows computer and so I found some really quick things that I changed immediately. I'll try to go through it really fast and hopefully you find something that you didn't know. I also want to mention that these tips that I'm sharing did not just come to me in my sleep. There were two YouTube videos that I found extremely helpful, so I'm going to link them in the descriptions below. Okay, so here we are. Um, I just touched on it, and oh, it just looks so beautiful. I don't know why there's an eagle on there. I'm going to have to change that. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is change the speed of your mouse. How you do that is go to your system preferences, trackpad, and then you'll see the point and click and then you'll change the tracking speed. You can just drag that arrow to the faster part. Now my cursor is going from one end to the other with smaller swipes on the trackpad. 
Another thing that I didn't know because I'm coming from a Windows laptop is if you wanna right click on anything, like this and do two fingers and it'll right click on the desktop. So two fingers and so then you have your options right there. So I'm showing you right here, when you put three fingers on the trackpad and you swipe up, it shows all the applications that you have open. And then come down here in the corner and click the launch pad and it takes you to your desktop. When you're in a web browser and you want to close it, press Command Q and that will close it. Now to get to your folders menu, you can go right up here to the Go, click on that, and this is where all of your folders are. So you've got like your applications, your iCloud, your computer. And so I am going to click on my home screen and it shows Delilah. And so it's got desktop documents, downloads, movies, music, pictures. And so when you do two fingers, it brings up the right click. And then you can go ahead and click on any of those. Another thing in Mac is they don't show you the scroll bars. And that's just weird to me. So I'm going to show you how to get that. Go into System Preferences. To General. And here it says Show Scroll Bars when scrolling. Click on Always. And then you can also, this is where you can change your default web browser. I changed mine to Google Chrome. And then now you should have your scroll bar. Okay, here is another thing. If you go to System Preferences to your trackpad, it shows you right here just that depending on the way that you swipe your fingers or how many fingers, it gives you the different tricks and all the different variations of how to navigate through the computer. Now on a Windows computer, you would do Control C to copy. But on this one, you can click up here in the box right here and you can do Command C and that copies it and then Command V will paste it right down there. If you notice on all the MacBooks, they don't have that USB port. So I was concerned with how I'm going to get all my Windows files transferred over to my MacBook. And I found this USB hub on Amazon. It was like $17 and that will allow you to plug your USB into it to transfer the files. Give me a thumbs up if you like these tips so far. This even has a tiny uh, SD card so I can transfer over my GoPro files. Let's see what it looks like on the screen now. So this little square popped up. Click on that. And here are the files that need to be transferred. I'm going to select list view. Now I can press the command key and select all the files at once. You can also press command A and it will select all the files in your folder. And then I'm just going to drag them to my documents file folder. Okay, so those were just some really quick tips that helped me get started moving from Windows to a Mac. Let me know in the comments if you learned a new tip at all. That way I know if this video was helpful. So thank you for watching and have a good day.